Hey everyone, welcome to the Art Workshop. My name is Christopher Epling. We're so glad you tuned in today because today is a very special show. Because, as you can see, we have a guest with us who I'll introduce in a second. But this is a series that we're, th we're putting together now where we're actually highlighting local artists, young artists in our region who are super talented. And you'll see exactly just how talented this little artist is right here beside me in a second. Now, in order for us to really present the work, I thought no better way to do that than to pull all the different uh, examples of, of the styles of art that Alicia here does. And I'm so happy that you're here today and we welcome you to the art workshop and say hello to our audience. This is Alicia Owens. Hello. Now, Alicia is eight years old, right? Yep. And where do you go to school? I'm Pikeville. Pikeville Independent. Yep. And you're in? Second. Second grade, right? Now, let me tell you something. I've got to visit a lot of schools, right? Mm -hmm. And I've seen a lot of students who like to draw, right? Yep. And your work is amazing, okay? It is amazing. Yeah. Um, and it shows that you love art, right? Yeah. Um, and, and these examples that you brought in today are just, mm -hmm. just wonderful. So what we're going to do today, we are going to look at your work. We're going to talk about you and your interest. Then we're going to talk a little bit about your style of art. Mm -hmm. Then... Okay, we're gonna draw together. We're gonna do two of your drawings. Uh, we're gonna do one where you follow me and another where I follow you. Sound cool? Yep. Okay, now before we start though, um, I like to know a little bit more about you and I'm sure our audience would too, okay? So mm -hmm. you're only eight years old. Yes. And how did you, how did you get to be this good at eight years old? Oh, I first like to start out with the eyes mm -hmm. before the rest. I have to, the, the like main part about it is the eyes and the mouth. So that's really important, right? Yes. Once you have those things down, then you can sort of build out around it. Yes. So how long have you liked art your whole life? Um, no. What? It just have. It has been like when I first got some pencils and mm -hmm. wanted to make my own little cute animal, yeah. and so I first I had my you I did like these like cute eyes mm -hmm. i can actually show you on yeah, like a actually, back of my you want to show yeah. the back yeah flip, uh, flip that over let's see let's see the back you can hold it up well, actually we, we're over here we're okay so so the eyes here you can lay it down right here let me see so yeah. the back part will you flip it over again yeah so you can see here that it's actually came through the paper a little bit right yeah because these are like pin markers they're they're like there's two sides one is a pin and another is a marker well, i like to use the markers well that leads us to a very important question too because i'd love to know what your favorite tools do you use to draw with um, do you like to draw with color pencils markers crayons what that sort of thing oh yeah i like to use markers because mm -hmm. markers are like very useful and there's like a bunch of colors and you can't like actually mess up so if you can mm -hmm. one thing you can't do is blend them so i can't blend like these colors together except any other color like pencils mm -hmm. sometimes they blend together yeah they blend a little bit better don't they I, well yeah. markers like this kit that we have that we're going to show everybody in a little bit yes you have a lot of different options for colors mm -hmm. that's a good thing if you want to blend right because mm -hmm. you go light and then you get darker with the same color and color pencils though you can it's about pressure right how hard you're pushing down mm -hmm. but these examples that you brought in are just amazing i'd like to talk a little bit about these two for a second okay because you have a lot of different different types of cartoon art here so let me ask you is cartoon art your favorite yes style yeah and you like the I big can eyes actually yeah, I can actually show you yeah. on this piece of paper right right here how I usually used to do my my color eyes. I would eyes. love to see that. Let's let's check it out. So you start out with um, now this is something you drew previously. We're starting down here, right? So this is your this is a um, this is my usual eyes I used to do, uh -huh. and this is what this are those is, circles in there? Oh, those are like how it makes it look cute. Okay, like see? that's uh, eyes, like the light shining a little bit sometimes. Yeah, you see how he looks cute. Yeah, he's very cute. This is yeah. my new kind. This is the new, and this is the old. I noticed that a lot of your characters, I'd say ninety-nine percent of the ones you brought in today, have this style more, right? Yes. 
And I like that. So I noticed then also you start with black, you do a circle, and then you add a little bit of color on the side, right? Yeah, that's for like how I, yeah. Color because, lines? Yeah, because you actually, we all have color around our eyes. So right, and that, you have brown eyes? Yeah. Right? I don't know what color I have. What color eyes do I have? People say they're blue, green. I don't um, know. They're kind of like a greenish. Greenish, bluish, grayish? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, they're like, yeah. Well, I, I, see, that's a problem. If I ever try to draw myself, I have no idea what color to pick for my eyes. Yeah, you have to, like, use, like, a light green mm -hmm. and a blue, like, light green and blue together. Together, like, mix them? Yeah. Do you ever use paint? Um, a few times. Mm -hmm. so, Watercolor? Um, yeah. Crayons? Um, sometimes, except they're not really, they kind of leave some marks. They don't fill with the whole entire color, like they don't the like color. Up. Yeah, so, well, like, like so the... you have to pressure so hardly <laughs> to get, to not like leave any. Little area, right? Yeah. I like the I like the markers a lot too. So I'm gonna use this one as an example here, and we'll show everyone the difference here. So this is interesting what you've done. I've noticed not only have you uh, you've got a different emotions that's popping out here in these two yeah. characters, right? So so I mean you can get a lot out of just just the eyes of a character. Yeah. So if the eyes are shut and sleepy, sad, you could get um, like this one's a little bit like I'd, I'd say playful, right? Yeah. And this one's a little bit, this is like winking at uh, uh, at the person, right? Yeah. And this is a, so we got a bunny, we have a cat. These are just ones that you did last night, right? Mm -hmm. So literally. And these, and like the big pictures uh -huh. are like the ones I did um, like one day. That is amazing. So w before we start drawing, I want to mention to everyone, let everybody know now, you, you placed in the top ranking of young artists in our region yeah. recently, didn't you? The like I was like it? the five, there's like five people, mm -hmm. and some of them were in like the, in like some big grades. Really? Like, so you yeah, beat high out, grades. You beat and, out other students in higher grades. Yeah, and so like, oh, yeah. Goodness. I didn't know that part. I thought it was just your age grade, age range. I mean. Yeah, it, that's they impressive. Were, yeah, they were in high school, and like the like the like my, and the like the first one was so good. Like yeah. it was like this girl. Like this mountain girl holding this person in the hand, it was like just, it was I so think I good. I saw that. So it was looked like Mother Earth kind of, right? Like uh, holding a girl in the mountains in the background. No, it was a boy. It was a boy holding a boy. I think it was Minta Trimble actually who did that, wasn't it? It was with um, something to do with the poster sign. Yeah. So the mountains, uh, and you got a word that you had to use or something like that. Yeah, the mountains. The mountains, let the mountains move you, let the mm -hmm. mountains, what was your word? Do you remember? Uh, Did you use a word? Yeah, I, I was like, I didn't know, I don't know what it was that time. Well, what inspired you to do it? Like, what inspired um, it? I got inspired how, like, the mountains, mm -hmm. sometimes they crumple up and they can sprout out so many trees, yeah. and so it's very beautiful, it's beautiful when you, isn't it? yeah like i always see some mountains in my like like in my sight and okay. i and i, I kind it. of i tr there kind of like use them to help me make my art well let me tell you something i think that is so so inspiring the fact that you're inspired by your region where you live mm -hmm. you see the beauty in where you live yeah. uh that you um are wanting to share your talent and what inspires you with others. And I think that that's just such a wonderful thing. So it's a privilege to be able to hang out with you for a little bit and draw. It really is, okay? So, would you like to draw now? Yes. Because I want to learn how to do these cool characters. I've never drawn a lot of, I think the, the style of art, if I'm not mistaken, because um, like I work with you know students, and I think one student told me at one point that this is called Ghibli's or something, with the big pretty eyes, right? And um, I've never really drawn that that style yeah. before a lot. I like Hedachromia, how they, I can, the my favorite kind are like the kind where it has like green right. and blue. I love how you used a lot of color here too with this lamb. Yeah, it's rainbow lamb. Rainbow lamb. You yeah. just have a lot of rainbows too, right? Yeah. This I, is one of my favorites too. This right here. We, now you tell us a little bit about this one. Yeah. Because this one here is uh, so, family members, isn't it? Yeah. I I did my brother because he's <laughs> just so, he's just so serious. 
sometimes. All the time or sometimes? Yes. Okay. He's some. He's so serious <laughs> yeah. to me and mean. Is so your older I, brother? Yeah, okay. he's my older brother. How so old is he? He's 13. 13? His he's name's a Jayden? teenager. Jaden here? Yep. So you drew him as a giraffe. Yeah, because, yeah. And, yeah. and I. And who's the rest of these characters, though? Oh, the, this is me. I. Huh? Yeah, I thought like this green was so good. Oh, I was I love like, it. yeah, in my mind, I was just like talking so much how it looked so good. It's, I think that color is like kind of like your eye. Really? That, like, this one here is? Oh, yeah, I, that, I hope so. That color is, I like that color. Yeah, that color is actually what your eye color is. It really is? That's yeah. pretty cool. You know what? I heard somebody call this color. This is one of my favorite colors, too. I didn't know that. Uh, they call it sea foam. Yeah. Sea foam blue. Yeah, your eyes are actually see from blue. That's cool. Thank you. Well, and, and I know now my Yeah, dog. and now. And, and who's this? This is my, my Ava? cousin, Ava. We're right. the same age, except she's a little, like, she's not, we're not the same height okay, yet. Okay, okay. I'm just a little older than her. Yeah, right. And you both yeah. have, I like how you both have rainbow tails. Yeah. I love it. So, because, yeah. and so I made my, my like, color. Yeah. My collar, mm -hmm. purple like hers, and I, I made that. her collar the color of mine. You flipped them, didn't you? Yeah. That was a good decision. And I like how you used up here the star with the colors, too, pulling out from it. That's cool. I really yeah. like how you've done that. You used the color. You switched the colors around. So that connects the two characters. So you're yeah, friends, my, right? My, yeah. yeah. I, so I know she, she, her friend likes cats, so I was like, maybe if I make her a cat, it's kind of like her friend. That's a good decision. Yeah. So your family and friends. That's nothing better than that. What about <laughs> my favorite here, the little the little um, Venus flytrap? Yeah, Jacob, right? Yeah, and he's very, very mean to us. <laughs> and, and he's really, he's like the, he's like the, he's like the youngest. Right, okay. Yeah. So then we have Abby, too, over here, who's an owl. Yeah. What's Abby holding? A book. A book? So I guess take it, Abby likes to read a lot. Yeah, and he, she's very smart. And so he he's very mean. <laughs> yeah. So I know these fly traps bite a lot and yeah. they're very mean. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, let me make him a Venus fly trap. And I was laughing <laughs> so much because and like I was like imagining if we were actually the animals, yeah. he has to hop <laughs> all the time. In his pot, yeah. hop around. Yeah. yeah, he and if he falls over, he he's just stuck <laughs> there forever That's until true. yeah, until somebody just picks him <laughs> back up. And he and it's like impossible for him. Yeah. I made the two the leaf the two leaves for his arm. So they just flap and falls over. Yeah, right. and he and he has to hop up the stairs, <laughs> and so he falls over. I think he falls over a lot. That's hilarious. Like up, fall over. Yes, <laughs> He yes. just needs a just small bed. Well, I love that you have so much personality in your characters, too. And I love that you put that much thought in behind when you draw these characters. But before we start drawing, one thing, I really love the sprinkles on this ice cream. How you've yeah. done dashes for the little sprinkles. I think yeah, that is because brilliant. I like the long kind of sprinkles. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to, if you can, you can actually kind of see sprinkles on his head. Yeah. I forgot to put some like lines That's for okay. that. It looks yeah. great. I think it looks great. And I like the two different colored eyes too. Yeah. And this is my favorite kind of, this go. is my favorite kind mm -hmm. because his, like I thought of the perfect name for him, I like to call him Ben because ben. a small little bear that's yeah. actually very cute. I was like, this should be named Ben. <laughs> right, I agree 100%. I agree 100%. Well, let's draw some. You want to draw some together? Yeah. Now, a lot of times what happens on the show, I'm not sure if, you, if you're real familiar with it, Alicia, and but... One uh, more thing about yeah, him. Yes. I was actually going to call him Brown, except right. I was like... I, I couldn't draw this just in time. Yeah. And and I was, I thought I didn't have like a the light brown like this. Right. Now and you so, do. Now you have all kinds of colors. Yeah. And so yeah. I was like, I was like, I can't make this. And I was like, this looks good without I the think color. I great without, without color. Yeah, like out the color brown. Right. Well, um, if you want, I'll tell you what we can do. Um, if you can reach me that pad of paper. 
And what I'll do is I'll pull you off another piece. Or you want to grab a piece out of it? You can. Um. Yeah, I can. You can. And then we'll um, we'll take that. Now I think it's very brave that you use. So a lot of times students will draw in pencil first, and then they'll trace over it. You know. But yeah. the fact that you go straight into marker with it and drawing, I think that's so impressive. And I want everybody to follow along at home. Um, so what we're going to do, you want to teach me one first and then you want to follow me next? Or you want me to go first or how would um, you like to do that? I, I to want you. to go first. Absolutely. Uh -huh. now, I, now, I may be a little bit slow here. I'm going to try to keep up, okay? Yeah. So I'm going to keep slow. Me. If you go slow, I can go slow for you. That sounds great. Thank so you. So you first do a, like a fairy. Oh, okay. uh, you had to do like a big eye okay. first. So. And these will smear. These uh, one thing bad about it, I picked probably the wrong paper because this has got like a smooth surface to it, yeah. you know. Okay, so just a circle first. Wait, yeah, I'm gonna flip you it over. just do a Wait, no. circle. You have to do a circle first. A, okay. A good one. So and then there we you go. And then like an easy part if you keep going with the circle and then. Oh, and just go like a line coming down. Yeah, it. I'm yeah. Gonna use a you make a darker. darker. Yeah. You, and it goes straight down, right? Yeah, you do just straight like down. Yep, like okay. that. And if if you like, I like to do the winking. Well, sure. Yeah, except I'm not doing that today. Okay. And that. That's okay. And another circle? Yep. Okay, here. Yep, and okay. do the same thing. Same thing, okay. This one, though, there's a little curve, though, to your lines, right? Yep. This one curves a little bit like that, and this one curves a little bit. So I didn't really curve mine a lot. That's, except, uh, it's fine. Here we go, okay. It's actually fine with Okay. And so next, I like to do bunny. Except today we're going to draw a. We're going to bunny? draw a. We're going to we're going to do a, a giraffe. A giraffe. Very yes. cool. Okay, that sounds wonderful. I'll, so um, I next we color the eye. Okay, now we're going to color a little bit of the pupil. Okay. So so now how how okay I see what we you're just, doing. Yeah, I just need to fill all that in, right? Yeah. All this part? I, yep. Okay. And then the same thing with this. Same thing on this side? Yep. Okay. Okay. I like to use the big side because it's more easier if if I mess oh, up yeah. a little bit and make it more like make this wider. more smaller. I can right. actually go over it again and right. make it more That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And next, I like... Because you keep on making as thick as you wanted, really, couldn't you? Yeah, okay, and see how I make the... Two dots for the nose, right? So yep. a dot I here. have to make it not that big, so a little I mean, bit. Mine might, be, mine might be too. No, they're about, about way up yours. Okay. Yeah, and it's, I don't want to make them too close to the eyes. Okay. Like this, it would... Little, I see what you're doing. So this and is like then, the mouth part. Or yeah, the, and then if you make it too close to the oh, eyes, it will connect and it will not look And then the different. giraffe turns into something totally different, right? Yeah. This is and, a baby giraffe, right? Yeah, I like them big. I think it's amazing because we talked about drawing a giraffe before we started a little bit, right? And yeah. the fact that we didn't have to look at any pictures of a giraffe, you just said, boom, here's a giraffe. And I was like, man, that's incredible because, you know, I would have to look at a picture. Now, okay, I don't want to mess this up. So now we got the head, right? Yeah. So the head and comes down this way under the chin. So if anybody's drawing at home, they can follow along step by step with us. Up this way, right? Yeah, if you make your ear Ooh, too, too trying to go, yeah. yeah, you can actually just make, like make that. it go. Yeah. Are you sure? See how oh, look, mine looks like a pig a little bit now. That's okay. If you if you make these, it will start looking like a like that maybe a little bit. Yeah. Okay, and then just connect the lines, right? Yeah. And okay. If you want, go. you can punt these things. I oh, already the know. antlers or those. I think they're are those antlers. I don't even know what these things are in a giraffe. But. I don't know too. I just like how they they make it look like a more like a giraffe. See. Yeah. How yours looks more like a giraffe. Very cool. I'm going to fill mine in. I made mine a little too thick. And you have the ears inside here too, right? This part? Yeah. And here. Okay. Now, now I'm there. Now I'm caught. And now you just draw the body. Body. Two lines coming down from the yeah. neck. Okay. One here and one here. Okay. And, I, and you make the... Now this is the little legs coming down? Yep. Okay. One, two. One, two. Okay. 
No, I have a question. I have a question. Yes. Uh, are we going to add any more color to the eyes or anything? Um, we'll do that after, last? Yeah. Okay. Last, okay. last you color. That's, uh, that's what you do. Okay. Now you're putting like the hooves on there? Yeah. A little bit of a hooves? Okay. Yeah, you first do the, the black outline. Mm -hmm. See how much? That is very cool. Starts look like, sort of look like. Starting to look like a giraffe now. Yep. Okay. And you make the tail. Oh, yeah. Got to have the little tail popping over here. With okay. this little hair sticking out the side like this, like that. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. And you... Then, mm -hmm. Oh, the spots. All right. Yeah. Okay. I want to put some spots on mine. You just put them anywhere you want? Yep. Or do you want me to put mine where you put yours at? Um, Just put them wherever you want because the colors don't... It doesn't matter if it... It's okay. Yeah. Okay. It's okay if you put too many spots. Yeah. You just... Because the giraffe has a lot of spots, right? Yeah. Okay. That's how yours more looks like. It looks like a giraffe more. My poor giraffe. He, he, he looks like maybe he's got he's got chicken pox right now. But he's if you color with black like this, it could, in. Yeah, okay. it, it will kind of look like a giraffe more. Okay, I'm, I may have to use blue. But this one's not working too good. Let me see. It might work. The Somebody's black. dried up a little, I'm afraid. See that one how it's dried up a little bit? But the other end oh, works yeah. good. That's too thin. I can maybe uh, get you this one. This one's Thank more you. like a more like a black. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Alicia. It's like a gray. There we go. It's like a gray black. Oh, it's brown, isn't it? Yeah. That works good, I guess, right? Yeah, brown and like some drafts have brown spots and some have Yeah. It's some black, have black. Sometimes brown. Very cool. Okay, let's color all these in, right? Yeah, and I like to add a little little things up here, two little lines like this, yep. like here and here. And he, I have and that's colors on that. yeah. See how it looks like his eyebrows. I like it a lot. And and then I like to add the, some to the ears. A little bit on the ears too. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Let's see, here we go. Here we go. You're starting to look like a giraffe. It's starting to look like it really is starting. And it's your style of art, which is very cool, too, because I'm a, that's a really cool thing about art is that when you get to draw with someone else who likes to draw, you know, yours is going to look different than mine. Mine will look different than yours. But it's cool to learn how they go about putting their art together. You know what I mean? Like 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 how you informed us. You start with the eyes, then the, then the, then the nose and mouth, and you build out from there, right? So that's yep. pretty cool. See, I wouldn't have... I do yeah, like to start so with the eyes, though. I do too. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, and very cool. And next, I like to do dark. I like to do light colors for. I first have to test them. Test them out. Yep. Okay. If I'm this a, one, that one's uh, very light. Is it really light? Yep. Very cool. Okay. So now you just color in the mouth, right? I yep. wonder if this is this is a little darker here. If you need that one, it's a little bit darker. But let me see if there's any more. A little bit brownish color, something close to it. This right here is very light. I think. Yeah, you can Maybe. do like a little light because it just has to be light this for it to it be. Out. This won't work, will it? No, it's too red. Way too red. Okay. It's a little red. I found the perfect one, I think. Maybe something close to this, maybe, you think? That's a, kind of like an orange, you see? That's going to be real orange, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Um. How about you color yours in? Then I'll borrow it. Yes. I'll call my name. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say this exact same thing. <laughs> you going to say the exact same thing? Yeah. And that way, our giraffe in a minute will have colored eyes too, right? You know yep. we're already what color eyes you're going to put on him or her? Or? It's a boy. Well, uh, green might be cool. Can I color mine whatever I want? And yeah. You okay, cool. Uh, I Very feel cool. like a brown Thank for you. him. A brown for him? Okay. Yeah, because it's like he's... His looks like a brown. It does. Eyes. It, yeah. It really does. I'm going yours outside the line be, a lot. Yours but. can be a different color eye or like um, any color. I think I'm going to try green. So yeah. if anyone's drawing at home, if you are following along at home and you'd like to share your uh, version of the giraffe, you can send it in to us at pipetv99 at gmail.com. Uh, I try not to get too close to the Black. Right. Don't like, want to get too close to it. Like that, I'm showing you what oh, it happens. Smears. It smears, right? Yep. 
think there's another yellow right here. I'm going to try to I have to do a light here. yellow for him. It takes a while, so you can still do it. If you have, like, a big marker, mm -hmm. you, it, like a big you sharpie. Can, yeah, Something if like you that. have like a marker that is big, like the tip, it's big, like a, like, there's a paint marker actually called Posca's. Uh-huh. Yeah. Very and, cool. I've heard of those. You yeah. like those a lot? Yeah, I only, I don't have them. And there's either. this other kind that's where it has like a big tip right. of it. Oh. And it's like markers in there in different kind of colors. I and see they're, those. yeah, and they're like, kind of watery and you can blend them too that's cool i like watercolor a lot you have to come back on and we'll do a watercolor oh yeah together if you want yeah i would really like that very cool i think you could do the whole show yourself to be honest yeah i think you could you could you could you could do the whole show yourself because you are very talented, talented and yes. informative you're good at the teaching you're you're, you're patient and those are all things you need whenever you, uh, you know, teach folks how to draw stuff, right? Yeah, you just have to keep your eye out if it blends. Yes, I noticed that. I hit that mark over there and it started to blend a little bit, a little wonky on me right here. That's dried enough, I think, though. So I think we're okay. But... Yeah, and sometimes it gets on your hand. Yes. Yeah, if you be so careful, it yeah. still can be on your hand. So but... it's fine. In a few days, it can... It can be off. It'll yeah. rub off. Plus, I say if you don't get a little messy, you're not having fun, right? With art. Yeah. That's the way I look at it. Get a little messy. Sometimes I have to check if it, there's any like white spots, like you're doing. I have a lot. See, I have a lot of those. See, you're yours doing really well. You're filling yours in really well. Yeah. I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like leaving a lot of that white stuff going on around. Have you ever used a white pen marker before and use it on your color yet? You done um, that? No. Oh my goodness! No. You gotta try that, Alicia. So here's what you do: you get a white, I think it's a gel pen or something like that, and when you draw your characters, you can fill in the entire eye with color. Then you use that white gel paint pen and draw in the circles or the lines for the white. So it's kind of doing it backwards, but you need to try that, try that out. I suggest uh, when you get a chance to use one. I think you'll like it. Yeah. Let's see now. Keep on going here. So do you to draw a lot in school? Um, yeah, I, um, I, like, some people come to me for, um, me to draw them. Uh, oh, I like bet. Animal. They want to draw animals and stuff? Yeah. Now, I my, know you're really, uh, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, um, personally, my favorite animal to draw is, like, the, a deer. A deer's? Yeah. Oh, cool, okay. Yeah, the spots on a deer are kind of. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, Baby I, yeah, I like to do this kind of, like, I like to do this with the, the giraffe's ears, the antlers. Oh, I see what you're doing. That's a cool, neat yeah. little thing. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, totally. It's got like, it's got a couple little, like, small antlers that come off in that fuzz on the antler, a little bit of fuzz, like the baby fuzz stuff on a baby deer. Yeah. I really and, like those. Yeah. That's how I like to draw mine, Very like cool. that, because, I like it. yeah. I like that, because it's just kind of rounded out like that, right? Yeah. Well, I have a lot of white stuff on mine. A lot of white's coming yeah, through. Yeah, you can you can actually just keep color. Just keep until, on coloring? Yeah, you can okay. just keep color. Over you just have to over. take your time right. for color. Right. So I know you're I know you're very young, and I know you have a long way before you, you know, get to high school and and everything else. But yeah. let me ask you this. I bet you don't know this already, though. Mm -hmm. Would you like to do something with art one day, like as yeah. a job? Okay, would you Would you like to make yeah. art or teach art, do you think? Um, teach art. I think you'd be excellent at it. I can go ahead yeah. and tell you that. And you, one thing I like to do yeah. is this. Oh, what, what? Oh, okay. I noticed that on some of your characters. You had those, those lines, right? Yeah, those that's three. how they blush. Oh, that's what that is? Yeah. Blushing? Yeah, okay. that makes it more cuter. That's cool. I was like, something's missing with it. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about it. I'm, I wanna, can I go ahead and put some color in my eye? Yep. Okay, I'm going to use green. I'm going to use a light green color, I think. Yeah, you don't color in this yet. Okay, not this part inside the ear. Now, do no. I put the green on the outside or the inside here? Right, right here. Okay, so like right here, right? 
Yep. Okay. You just have to make it not that? too big. Oh, that's too big, I think. Here we go. If it's too big, it will take away all the white. That is so smart. You, you're you talking, you won't even know this, but you're talking about like really advanced stuff here. Whenever you're talking about, it's called like, uh, I think in art, they use form. So you're taking away a color in order to enhance another color kind of thing, you know? Yeah. And you're talking about these really, really uh, cool techniques in art. And how old are you again? Um, eight. I, it blows my mind. I mean, that is amazing. If I was, listen, I wish that I was as good at drawing at eight years old. I wish when I was eight, I was as good as you are at eight. Because had I, had I kept on drawing and practicing from, from how old you are now and moving forward, you're, you're going to be out, uh, just outstanding. It's, it's, you can do whatever you want with art one day, you know? You could teach it, you can make it, you could sell it, you could whatever you want to do. And the fact that you got friends at school right now who are coming to you wanting drawings should tell you, hey, I've got a serious talent here. But your teachers probably tell you that too, don't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, I hope you get to uh, take art class in high school. Do you want to? Yeah. I, I know sometimes, probably... sometimes I like to make dresses for my dolls. Like I take a sock, I mm -hmm. just cut it up on like a sock that doesn't fit me anymore. Right. I cut like some holes mm -hmm. in it and just put it on my doll. And, then, and if it's not that, if, like I knew, yeah, it so never super fits. Creative, right? Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. If it doesn't fit, I yeah. kind of like take a another sock and tr and trim it mm -hmm. to make a little. So you might even do fashion design stuff one mm -hmm. day. I mean, it's incredible. Well, that's the cool thing about really creative people is that uh, even from an early age, you know, um, they seem to always want to make something out of something else, right? Mhm. Mm and one yeah. time I found this like old like mitten, mitten? That, yeah and it didn't fit me anymore right. and i cut a hole in the, like the little like right there the thumb part yeah and and i yeah and i also made a little hole for the hand yeah. and noose like the the like topper it has like those things and i put it on a doll cool just tied it and yeah. I was like, that looks so good. <laughs> yeah, I bet it did. That's really cool. That's Yeah, that's I put smart. my other hand, it was too big, so right. I put the other hand in, like, the neck. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. it looks so cool. I bet it does. That sounds like a great idea. Um, you know, I just thought about something when you were talking about mittens. So sometimes, you know how you get the smudges on you and stuff? Yeah. Um, I, I, one time I, I had a glove, and I cut, I cut the thumb out, and I cut the fingertips out. And I would use it when I would draw, you know, to keep from getting my smudges on me. Hmm. It didn't work so great because eventually I never washed it and it got really dirty. So it got like the smudgy anyway and it get all over my hand, you know. Then I washed it and it was fine. But I only had one glove though. Of course you only draw. Can, I, can you draw both hands? Um, sometimes I do this hand if mm -hmm. if my my this hand is tired because this is usually That's my drawing incredible. hand. Yeah, so it takes a long time to, if I make a lot of them, my hand still moves like this. Right. means it actually doesn't, it needs to it's see how, yeah, yeah it doesn't, tired. if it doesn't, if, if I'm not, my hand is not tired, like now, it means I'm trying to focus right. on trying, yeah, see how I draw with this hand. Yeah. It's kind of like bad. Oh no, it's just it's not used to, you know, you're not used to, I can't draw with my left hand either. Yeah, so. I can't write my name in this hand. You can? That's I can't. Pretty, you can't? Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. like so difficult because- it's weird, that, isn't it? It's like learning to draw or write all over again, isn't it? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes it just doesn't, yeah. Sometimes so you have like a right hand or a left hand. You're a righty, you write with your right hand. Yeah. If you're a lefty, you left, write with your left hand. Yeah. That's how, how you know what kind. Did you know, I knew an artist one time that could, they sign their name with their left hand and would write with their left hand, but they draw with their right hand. Is that not weird? Yeah. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I. I always knew this hand to mm -hmm. draw and write my name and do stuff right. like with art and stuff and like drawing. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's cool. And you're adding color now to the eyes, right? Yep. So you got brown in there. That's a good choice, I think. Brown looks really good. 
Now, what about inside the ears, though? I'm dying pink. to know what to do it's there. It's pink. It's pink? We have yeah. a few different options for pink here. I'll pull out a couple if, for you. Yeah, if, if you one, know um, something, I actually, I one time I used pink and purple. Mm, pink and purple. Ooh, like, what would that look good? Yeah. Like I, purple in there somewhere. Yeah, I put the, the pink first, like this. Right. And then I put the purple right there. That's really smart. So you put inside out town. Yeah. That works better with colored pencil, I this, guess, sometimes. And this side. And if you use purple right. and and smudge it with this, it'll blend in. Oh, cool. Let's see that. Let's do that then. Yeah, so I start and out, I'm this using is the pink. I'm using some pink. Okay. I'm using the pink. You can use like the pink and the purple. Like that? And yeah. then you fill it in, right? Yep, and you smudge it with your finger. Oh, cool. I got it now. Hold on, let's see. This play a little bit. See how it blends in with mine? That is really cool. Then smudge it like yep. that. Okay. And you see how blend? it's smudged together? Yeah, it blends it right in there, doesn't it? That's a cool idea. You could probably go even a little bit darker there, couldn't you? Well, we have a giraffe. I did it. I followed you, I think. Yours looks amazing. I love your style. You have a specific style. That is just your own. I love it. You put yeah. your name on your paper all the time and sign your art. I like to do my name cursive. It. You do it in cursive? Yeah, I do it in the bottom. Yeah. That's very good writing. You have very good handwriting. Cursive is not easy to learn, is it? No. Very cool, Alicia. Uh, I, that's just amazing. Thank you for uh, teaching me how to do this. Yeah. I'm going to, you think we can trade? Yeah. I give you mine and I take yours? Yeah. You remember it, Ma? You see okay. how mine, like, I first look There's at it, yours. and then, like, then I see, like, what kind of color. Like, mm -hmm. I got it from, like, the color of his, yeah. Is that his mouth, right? His mouth. Yeah. Thank you. Can I keep this? Yes. Thank you very much. Do you think we could draw together one more little thing and you follow yes. me now? Okay. So we'll take this. We'll set it off here to the side a little bit. Mm -hmm. Get a couple more pieces of paper out. We have two probably. No, we got more than two. And this is, uh, so we're going to draw a little bit. I'm going to draw a little bit smaller on this one. And that way, because I want to be sure. And I'll move this up a little bit for you. Oh, oh that's okay. I you can leave it there. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get it. All right. Here we go. Are you ready? Yep. Now, this is something I like to do, okay? You don't have to do this way, of course, but this is just kind of my way of going. I like to pick a real light color out first, okay? I'm Yellow. using a dark color. You're going to use a dark color? Okay. That's cool. That's like cool. Like black. Well, let me start out. I'm going to use a dark color, black. too, then. I'm going to use, I'm going to use purple. Real dark purple. Okay. I and it's like black because black is more easier. Mom, let's try another. If this set maybe, doesn't work, I'm maybe, going to get you another one. Maybe you can actually use like one of the, the black way. You can use that try brown. Let me try that brown, brown again. Let me try that brown again. That looks like it works good. Yep. Thank you. You can use like the pen side or the yeah. marker side. I'm going to use the marker side, okay? I, me too. I always use the marker side. So we're going to start out with eyes, okay? So yep. ovals. I'm going to start on the right-hand side, mm -hmm. and we'll draw a shape that looks like an oval like this, okay? Excellent. Like that? Now, where you have your eyes apart, real far apart, watch what yep. I'm going to do with mine now. Now, this is an oval. Now, this one's going to be a circle. Look how it's a little bit bigger. See how it kind of comes and it connects there? Perfect. Okay, perfect. Inside of this now, I'm going to draw a little circle here and a little circle here, okay? Mm -hmm. Did they color them? Yeah, and at the bottom now, I'm going to draw, what's this one I'm going to do? I'm going to put a oval here and an oval here. This one we won't color in, but yeah, you're right. This one we do. Okay, because we're gonna do something a little interesting here coming up. So we have we have two circles, two dots, and two ovals, right? Now inside, what I'm gonna do? I do a lot of this overlapping stuff. I'm gonna draw this shape. It goes. It's a circle that goes behind. See how that works? Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I'm gonna do one here. Same thing. Behind it. Okay. Now this will be colored with a color in a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now let's work on the rest of the body. Now the mouth, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just below here. Watch. I'm going to do a triangle here. Just below. 
excellent. Now come back up to the top up here. Watch this. I'm going to do these little hash marks that goes all the way around the top of the head like this and down the side of the head over here. Now, I know you'd probably say, what in the world is this, right? Yeah. I'm going to try to draw. It kind of looks like an owl. Kind of like a, yeah, it could be. We could do a baby owl. I was going to try to draw a really strange looking baby duck because I like weird cartoons. I like weird mm. cartoons a whole lot. Now let's go ahead and put color in there though right now because it's really bothering me having these two circles like kind of just hanging out together. You can use like, any color you want. I am terrified right now. Kind of terrified. Why? Right now? No, because of how it looks. I see. Wait till it comes together though. So go ahead and fill that in with the color, okay? I'm using green. You're going to use gray? You know what? You're right. I'm going to use something lighter too. I'm going to use a pink. I really like strange looking cartoon characters. I really like them a whole lot. And whenever I draw I my like own. Cute. You like cute, yes, I know. That I like cute too. My daughter likes cute too. Um, so every time I draw for her, we draw Wait, together. Look at that. Well, do you see that little tinge right there? Yeah, That's that looks I, cool. I started out with uh, I actually I by accident. I put a little bit of that one color down. And unfortunately, it looks like this marker set has a couple of duds hanging out in it. Mm -hmm. Um which I feel bad now giving it to you with a couple of duds hanging up. <laughs> Probably I'll get you a new set and you can have your mom pick it up here at the studio. But uh, yeah, there's a couple of duds in there. You have to filter them out. Okay, we got some color now, right? So watch now. This is all going to come together right now. It looks like it's crying for some reason. I know. We want to make it. We want to make it happier. Now I'm going to put some more of these little shapes like this, just below, just below each side. See that? Uh oh, it's black. See that? How they kind of come together to the mouth here? Excellent. Now we're going to draw a really long neck. Okay. Comes down. Why it looks like it's, it <laughs> like has it. goggles. Why <laughs> it's doesn't good. It's good. You can put goggles yeah. on it. It actually looks like it has goggles. If I just color yeah. in a little bit, it now, looks look like giant goggles. Okay. So you notice how your lines come down to form the body? Yep. That, okay. Now we just added a neck here. That's all we did. Now we're going to do the body shape here. But watch how we're going to do it. It's just going to be, it's going to draw this shape. It looks like an oval right here. Yours looks like a, has goggles too. It does, doesn't it, a little bit. Now we can draw these lines like this for the wing, one wing here. All right, now little feet, little tiny feet, two lines, two lines. And then this shape kind of looks like this or just the feet here like that, okay? Oh, uh, awesome. Now we have a little, little weird looking baby duck. Let's put a little accents in here. Let's get some yellow or some for the beak. Okay. So we'll get okay. the beak in here and color it in. Oh. Is that one pen dud too? That oh, one. I used a pen side. Okay. Because pen is more. Like there it goes. Yeah, pen is a little bit thinner, isn't it? Yes. How yours? I really, I really oh. like your duck a lot. I think it looks cool. We can add goggles if you want. It can actually turn those into goggles. So watch yeah, what you do. Yeah, I actually thought. You were gonna, put yeah. this little shape like this on each side. It kind of looks like goggles now. See? Yeah. Like this. His, his other one is hiding. It's okay. You can color the top parts in. No. And you can even, uh, you know how you had made the line thicker on yours? So watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to trace around. I'm going to fill all this in dark. Watch. So I'm just, I'm just tracing around. Even go, I'm going to go right through those little hash marks, okay? It's okay to do that. Now watch. All of this will be colored in. See? That, see how you made that thick? Now color that in really dark. It's really going to look like the little baby duck has goggles now once we color that in. Okay. Cartoon characters, for me, I, 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 I used to draw uh, them a whole lot when I was your age too. Um, I grew up with a thing called the Garbage Pail Kids and um, characters uh, from like Ren and Stimpy and these weird, weird, weird cartoons that they probably never put on children's networks today. But they were, you know, they were available when I was little and I kind of grew up consuming that stuff. So my style of art really reflects that. Now my daughter loves cute stuff too. Cute stuff's wonderful. Um, like how, how I did mine? Absolutely, yes. And I want to do something a little different here with these. So see how the goggles now, as you colored them, it look more like goggles, right? Yep. And we could go ahead and, if you want, and yeah, I think we're good here with that. Put a little bit of, a little bit of uh, some lines like this to make it look like goggles. See? 
a little bit more like there's glass there. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Well, how do you feel about today's show? I, I like this. Did thing. you like it? Yep. Okay. I think you did a, a wonderful job. Yeah. I mean, I think that. One more thing we need to do. Oh, yes. Sign our name. Sign our name. I'm, listen, look at me. You, see, you make a great teacher. I'm telling you. You're already a super talented artist. And now you're, you know, learning that you're also a great teacher. You ever try to teach your friends how to draw in school? Um, yeah. Does sometimes, anyone ever ask you, yeah. like, hey, teach me? And sometimes we said, I want to know how to draw, how, like, how to your. What's the most animals. popular animal folks want you to draw? Um, It's like any animal they like to see me draw. And mm -hmm. one girl said, um, can you show me how to draw a deer? A deer? Yeah. Is that how you first started drawing deer and started liking them? Or did you do it how you drawing them a lot? Oh, I, I first draw my first ever deer. Mm -hmm. It looked so cute. I, you're like, that's it. I love deers now. I, I was like, oh, that looks so cute. Yeah. I I love it. Cool. And just keep starting to make more deer. Well, than, you, you are already a super... You know, you've achieved a lot at a very young age. And with this recent acknowledgement of you receiving a, um, such a high... Remember, let's trade. Trade, Remember? yes. I'm so sorry. Thank you. I almost forgot. Thank you. Um, you know, you've been, you've been, you've been um, acknowledged uh, here locally uh, in the region as being one of the top mm -hmm. artists. And, and, and um, so if there's an artist watching today, a young artist, let's say, around your age, okay, yep. who's maybe saying, I want to be able to draw as good as Alicia draws, and I want to do what Alicia's doing. What's your advice for them? Um, keep pressing. Keep practicing? Yeah. A lot, right? A whole keep lot. Keep pressing. Pressing. Pushing forward and practicing, right? Yep. You draw every day? Um, sometimes I draw if I feel like I want to draw something. No, that's the best time to do it. Yep. Well, I really appreciate you coming on the show. Mm -hmm. It's been an honor to meet you. And I hope that you continue working and doing this and pushing forward and us and the audience here and, and, and the producers here at Pike TV and the crew here, we're just going to keep watching and seeing you soar, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to see big things from you. We just know it, all right? Yep. Everyone, thank you so much for tuning in today. We really appreciate it. And we thank um, Alicia's mom and her, her family for allowing her to come onto the show. Uh, as you can see, our region is completely full of super talented artists of all age ranges. And one of our goals here at Pike TV is to show you not it's not about me, it's not about us. It's about us just to sharing with one another talents that we have. So if you've followed today and you'd like to share your work, remember you can. Send it in at PikeTV99 at gmail.com. If you want to look at past shows, we have almost 100 episodes right now to boot in the can that you can check out anytime, access them anytime on your phone, tablet, or computer. You can do that by going to YouTube. Uh, just do a quick search for Pike TV 99 and the playlist will come up. It's not only just workshops. There's a lot of really good information for the public here, local government, different activities, things, events going on right here in Pike County. You can access all those here on the channel in this playlist. Alicia, thank you again. Okay. Thank you all at home too. And I like to say at the very end, keep drawing. Is that okay? Yep. Okay, so get ready. And all you at home, remember, thank you for tuning in on behalf of myself and Pike TV. Ready? Keep, keep drawing. drawing.